I make my videos, it's like, I always, before even making videos, when I hear a song, I always think about what would be like a cool, like music video thing to go along with it. And it's like, this just, I don't know, it's just like, when I hear a song, it's just like, oh, this would be cool. So I just yeah. get to turn it I just I just scroll into what through I want. Yeah. my feed and then be like, oh, okay. Yeah. I'll <laughs> make a sound <laughs> out of that. Like, I try, I try not to go on like the main page too much. It's like, I just, I like to come up with some stuff that's like completely my like idea and like what I have in my head. And yeah, I don't know, that's how I come up with my stuff. So yeah. you hear a song and you just really feel into it. Yeah, it's that's like what it. would be a cool story to go along with the song kind of thing. All and right, it's, so like it's really like organic. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. Who wants to take it next? So for me, like, I, I watch a lot of stuff, like, and I'm, I'm on the For You page probably six hours a day. So I kind of just take a mental note of what's really funny and what's really not. <laughs> and I stay away from what's not, obviously, and kind of combine what's really funny and kind of mash ideas together. Plus, I, I like, I, I'm really influenced by old sitcoms like Friends, The Simpsons, Seinfeld, things like that. So I take little bits of jokes from everywhere and kind of smash them together to make a pretty cringy, funny video. <laughs> so that's what I do. Mariam? Um, for me, I, if I hear a song, I'd kind of like, and I like the song, I'd make something up in my head, and if I like it, then I'd, you know, I'd do the video and I'd put it out there. So whenever I, and I'd take, um, like when I see other videos and I like them, I'd kind of get some ideas and I'd put them all together, and yeah. Cool. Great. <laughs> so that sort of like incorporated the idea of creative process as well, yeah. right? So like you come up with the idea, then you execute it, and then you, what, you edit it in app and then post it? Like, could you just tell us a little bit, like, in a more detailed way about that process? So, like, how it's made? Well, like, you make it and you edit it in app, or do you, so it's I like don't, you just film you're just it? Making it, they're, like, the same thing. So, yeah. it's like, you just, like, you hold the button and it films and it creates it. So it's and like, that's it. That's yeah. it. That's it. So, so you don't yeah. import anything. It's yeah. all done it's within all done the app. It takes everything. a long, a long yeah, time. Yeah, a long time. <laughs> yeah. Okay, well, uh, I think the longest one took me three hours, I think. I'd say five hours. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'd do it over and over and over again yeah. until... Just to make the one video? Yeah. yeah. So, like, how many videos will you try to make in a day? Like, will you try and make, like, several for the week? And then I, put them I aim slowly? to do that, and I end up making two yeah. because it takes so long and yeah. mental breakdown. And yeah. then you put those two videos out, or do you then the next day spend the whole day making another two? Like, um, yeah. So, yeah. With, with mine, it's like, I upload, try to upload twice a day. So it's like, I can, some days I'll be like, all right, I'm just gonna make videos today and I'll spend the entire day trying to backlog videos, get them ready for the whole next week. And then, yeah, just release them two at a time. But it's like, it just depends like how much effort you wanna put into, like right. into it, into how many videos you get out. But yeah. yeah. Marion? Oh yeah, um, it takes, it used to take me hours cause I'm like a perfectionist and I need everything perfect. So like it used to take me hours on each video and yeah, and then there's days where I'll make like a bunch of videos and I'll, I'll let them out throughout the week. And then there's days where I'll just do like three videos a day and then the next day I'll do another three and I'll just keep posting them. Okay, wow, and Ricky? Yeah, look, um, I, I try to visit, like I don't live with my grandma and she's the star of the channel. Uh, she's <laughs> sitting over there. Uh -huh. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> <laughs> Granny! So, <laughs> so I, I like restrictions. So obviously Granny's not as mobile as she was when she was younger. So we, we kind of, if the idea is sound, we try to get two videos out per day every time I go visit her. Um, but yeah, it's, it's all about having fun in the end. So it's all shot at your Granny's place? So it's yeah, yeah, oh, we'll, we'll go out to Yamcha together and yeah. I'll, I'll see something funny and um, yeah. I'll be like, Granny, let's let's make a TikTok. <laughs> you do or, editing outside the app, don't you? Yeah, yeah. So we use InShot um, and then some uh, superimposing apps, so I can cut cut her head off and put it on something and yeah. make it funny and stuff like that. So, so does that add a lot of time then to the process? Yeah, it does. But um, after a few hundred videos, you kind of get good at it. Yeah. yeah. But um, look, it's so amazing now that you can build a following just from your phone. Like everything, you know, you don't have to take it off board. You don't have to put it into an editing software. It's all done on your phone, so it's good fun. Nice. <laughs> what do you guys love most about the platform? 
the reach, the fact that you can edit everything within the app? Like, what is it that makes you love TikTok so much? Um, <laughs> I guess, yeah, you can edit within the video. It's like, in a way, it is quicker than making YouTube videos, mm -hmm. definitely. It's much quicker. Yeah, um, YouTube is more complicated. And that's why I, I like TikTok, because it's really popular, but it's also, like, everyone can use it. You know, not everyone knows how to edit YouTube videos, so you can edit within the TikTok app and just post it. Yeah, you need have like fun. more advanced equipment. Yeah. 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 All you need is a phone, basically. Mm. But if you want to be professional on YouTube, you need like the microphone, you need like the backdrop, you need like everything. Yeah. And the editing software as well. <laughs> yeah, exactly. That's a skill. You guys? Yeah, there are pretty uh, some pretty cool effects on TikTok that, and it's like very easy to do, but you just need to get used to it. And TikTok, I find TikTok a way that you can express yourself as well. Yeah. Yeah. Look, I, I just think the barrier to entry for TikTok is pretty low. Anyone can just, like me, I, I picked it up at a train station, just mm -hmm. downloaded it, made a video, got two likes, and that was the world for me in the beginning. So that was your first video you ever made? Yeah, yeah, it was with Sarah, my daughter, um, <laughs> and we just shot it and uploaded it. Yeah. And we thought it was gonna be like Instagram, like no likes, no, <laughs> no views or anything. Yeah. But it just started getting shown to people, and I think that's still in me, where the two likes and three likes, it, it's still very, very important, because, um, you know, we started from just downloading it. Well, how many likes did you get on that first video? Oh, like, total like 10. But um, I ended up d deleting the app like five minutes later. Oh, yeah. Um, but <laughs> picking it up two, two weeks later. But um, yeah, yeah. Look, the barrier to entry, anyone can get famous on TikTok. You don't have to be a crazy, you know, like creator or anything. So it's, it's a very inclusive. It actually leads me to another question that I had in mind was like, I heard somebody yesterday talking about um, that they were kind of strategic in like growth hacking their first thousand <laughs> followers. Like, did anybody what have strat? <laughs> I mean, it means they had ideas and strategies and ways to try and get people to follow them. Right. But I'm wondering, well, for, did anybody like have that kind of strategy, or was it just really organic over time? Like, how did you guys get those first thousand, two thousand, up to ten thousand followers? We, you go. Well, I actually posted when Musically was dead. So before it actually came, became TikTok, and um, I posted one video, and I don't know why, but I did, and it got like 60 likes, and I was like, hmm. And then I kept going, and then I realized, like, times throughout the day that, like, are the best time to post, and then I just kept going and going, and then eventually it was 10,000 in a week, then 20,000. Oh, wow. And it How long built did it up. take you to get to that 10,000? It took me, yeah, it took me about two weeks to get to 10,000. Oh my goodness. Yeah. <laughs> and it then, it's possible, people. <laughs> and then it eventually went to one million in six months. Oh my goodness. And, yeah. Wow. Anybody else have that kind of fun? <laughs> yeah. I, um, you did. Yeah, I did. Yeah. I, yeah, mine was crazy. Like, I only, less than a year ago, I wasn't even on social media at all, like, on nothing. And then, what are we now? It's nine, ten months, and I'm at three point. Four, I think. Three point four million. You've only been doing it for ten months. Yeah, I started what? like October last year, and it's already three point four million, which is yeah, I started a year ago. Insane, but okay. there's definitely if you take it seriously enough, there is a strategy to it. Okay, absolutely. so like, what is that? Is that consistency? Is that it is consistency is one massive thing. Like, yeah. So like just posting regularly, posting, all the time. having a schedule. So it's like I post my videos every day between six and eleven p uh, a.m. Mm -hmm. So it's like. My videos are catered towards Americans. Like, my fan base is, I think it's like 96% Americans. Yeah. Okay, so, so like and that they have the different time zone, therefore yes. you post at that time when yeah. it's their so after it's like, school time. It's or around something. like 3 30, 3 o'clock yeah. after school. So okay, it's like, cool. you gotta know your audience basically. You know your audience yeah. and you cater to them and then that's it. Um, yeah. Mariam? Yeah, I was on Musically when it was like pretty much dead. And you just had to post daily, you had to be creative. Um, you had to use hashtags, and I posted a lot of bullying videos because I was like badly bullied in public school, and I could never be myself at school, so I found TikTok a way that I could actually express myself, and that's how I started gaining um, a lot of followers because I helped so much people with, out with like bullying. They'd comment like, you helped me so much. I'm sticking up for myself now. I'm not getting bullied anymore, and that just made me want to keep going because that just, that was so heartwarming to me. That's awesome. That's awesome. 
Ricky. So in terms of growth hacking and all of that, <laughs> um, it's a bit corporate. It's a bit, you know, oh, I'm trying to build something. Um, in the beginning, it, I, I think it's all about having fun. You yeah. got to like doing it. Oh, so, yeah, you definitely yeah. got to have a passion. Yeah, for yeah. If you, if you don't, and you know, all the rejections, all the uh, hate comments, it's going to kill you in the beginning. So um, first of all, you got to make sure that you're doing something that you believe in and you love. So I, j I just couldn't keep off the app in the beginning. So Very that's, teacher. yeah. <laughs> but then, like, you're only one video away from total obscurity to being TikTok famous. So just keep at it. If you love it, one of your videos is going to hit one day, and that's it. It'll what happen. was it like when you got that first video that got, like, heaps of likes? And what was that video? <laughs> oh, it was the 61st video. Oh, it was um, my grandma came over for, for lunch, and uh, there was a Post Malone song playing in the background. So I just made a 15 second video of her like butchering that song, <laughs> um, hip hop with granny. Um, and we just, we ended up making it into a series. Yeah. And uh, I think in a day we had like 40,000 followers. Oh my goodness. Yeah, wow. so. Your granny's um, amazing. Yeah, yeah. Well, she's the real star and I, I just pressed the buttons. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. Um, okay, so like I think this sort of falls into the idea that it's not like, even though you guys look like you're having a lot of fun and you are, it's hard work as well, right? Like it's commitment. Yeah. It's, it's yeah. Can you tell us a little bit about that? It's like, if, when, it's like, if you're trying to build an audience and it's like, if they, they're counting on you, they're depending on you to be a consistent like output of content and stuff. So it's like, it, it gets hard when it's like, when you're trying to be creative and you're trying to get something out and it's like, you just, you get that correct, that writer's block kind of thing. It's right. like, you have no ideas and you're just like, I don't know what to do. And it's like, I, but I need to put something out. And it's like, it can get super frustrating sometimes. Like, super frustrating. Where do you go for inspiration then? Um, I don't know. I, like, I, it's, it's, I only use my own brain as, like, inspiration. It's like, I'll go to, like, the songs that I like and it's like, I don't know, I just think like what would be cool with this. So it's like, I would just, I might go through all my old songs or I'll listen to songs I've never heard before and just mm -hmm. like try and create something from that. But yeah. Nice. <laughs> um, you, can, you can post like loads of videos and be consistent, but if like they're not like, if they're not like well made, it can affect your yeah. status as well. Say if I just gave up on making really good content and I just threw out random videos, I would probably lose followers. So that's mm. kind of it another wasn't in my brand. Mm, like. That's another thing. Like you have to make sure your videos are good, and that's why it takes a long time. Yeah. Um, yeah. A lot of stress actually. <laughs> <laughs> you, know, you just have to put your mind to it. So once you put your mind to something, nothing's impossible. You know, like once you put your mind to something, you do it, and nothing's impossible. Yeah. <laughs> you can all do it. <laughs> and I, I think you just, sometimes you can't force content. It has to be real to you, like Caleb said. Like, if it doesn't feel right, if it's not of the right quality or the execution, mm. don't put anything out. I mean, you're hurting yourself more than, more than anything, you know? Like, yeah. content needs to be organic. And um, that's the main thing, too. When you're making a TikTok channel, it has to be yourself. I mean, when you flick through the For You page, everybody is trying to be like everybody else. And you're not going to stand out. You know, you might get that one breakout video because, you know, it, it was done well. But if you don't have a consistent content that represents who you are or what you do, then, um, yeah, it's not going to last. So you need to find your authentic voice. Absolutely. Mm. So once you've found that, the, and, and then people ex have an expect, come to have an expectation of you. How do you then get to know your audience, and then how do you then connect with your community? Do you want to do you want to start with that? Yeah, right? sure. Uh, for us, um, the the comments are very important. So we look at the comments, and um, especially the negative ones we look for, um, because you know a lot of people on TikTok they'll comment just so they can get onto the comments. And they want to be first. <laughs> first, 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 first. <laughs> and there's like 50 people who are first. Um, but, you know, they're not constructive or useful. Sometimes, you know, um, when someone says, um, look, we, we think granny should do this, or maybe your family should do that, um, that's really helpful feedback because yeah. that can, you know, you can tailor your content to what they actually want. Yeah. And, and you don't feel compromised? You, that, that's really helpful. Oh, look, I mean, 
we're in the entertainment business yeah. and you've got to give the people what they want. Absolutely. If they're telling you we want this and you do completely different, obviously you do that sometimes yeah, just yeah. for your own sanity. But um, yeah, it, it just makes sense to give people what they want nice. sometimes. Marianne? Oh, Mia, you want to hit it? Um, yeah, I just make sure like if I laugh at it, then I'm going to post it. Like, if I don't post something, if I don't laugh at it, because <laughs> I laugh at my own videos. So you, you're your own gut check. Yeah. Nice. Marion? Yeah. <laughs> um, especially with hate comments, you know what, you just have to block them off. You have to just ignore them, because they're just all jealous. They want to be you. That's why they, they want attention. So if you reply back to their comment, they're just going to want to do it more. They're going to be satisfied. So you're gonna, they want more. You know, they're going to keep hating, because they're just jealous. Mm then it's not personal they don't know you yeah right you're just an image to them it's and not they're personal. just bored so yeah. Some, sometimes when you re reply to their like i love replying to hate comments because <laughs> i'm just that kind of person roast, but i um, roast your hate comments. yeah when, when i come back at them um usually they're like oh my god you replied i'm so sorry <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so that's yeah, exactly i heard someone talking about that yesterday as yeah. well yeah. Yeah, yeah, i used to reply and then i just told myself to just ignore them because mm. yeah. they want you to reply you know that's the reason why why they're commenting hate, you yeah. know? That's you just probably have to the ignore best them. strategy too. Yeah. They actually <laughs> love you, they you don't, don't even Don't even you. delete they their comment, you. they, you know what, like they burn when you don't delete their comment, you know what, like, they're just jealous, yeah. so. <laughs> Did you have another one? Hi. What, what was the question? Um, getting to know your audience and how you connect with your community. Oh, um, <laughs> with, I don't know, like with TikTok comments, it's like, it's, there's, it's like, there's a lot and it's, it's hard to differentiate and like get really connected with them. It's yeah. like I use my other platforms as ways to to know people. So it's like I do like Instagram, I do Twitch, I do heaps of other stuff. And it's like the people that go from one platform to another, it's like you start to recognize their names and stuff. And yeah. it's like you can see the people that come consistently and it's like it's I don't that's how I build my like fan base and stuff. Your findom. Like my findom. <laughs> um yeah, it's it's just you I don't know. You get to you branch out, and people that follow you are like the the ones that. Yeah, it's are a like, relationship. Exactly. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, cool. That actually leads me to another question. I wanted to know: Do you think it's important to diversify, or do you yes. just double down down on the one <laughs> on the one product on the one uh, platform? I think it's super. If you especially. And I mean, I'm sorry, just to just to clarify, fine. I mean to to go on other channels like YouTube, like Instagram, yeah. not just the one. That's what I'm saying. It yeah. depends how you're trying to take it, like. If you're serious about it and trying to build a brand, trying to build an audience, I'd say absolutely start branching out into other places. Like that helped me with everything. It's like, yes, it's one thing to be big on TikTok, but it's like those people will follow you to different places. And it's like, you, it's like, I think I've got like, what, 600K on Instagram and stuff. It's like, it's, they, it's absolutely, it's important. If you're building a brand, if you're trying to get big, Yes, do other platforms. It's super it's, important. It's almost like a backup as well. So like yeah. if, if TikTok dies, at yeah, least you still have your YouTube. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. Yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Because like feel yeah, if that dies, then you die basically. So it's like <laughs> you want to you want to spread yourself out. Okay. And you can get new fans from other places that they'll yeah. they all feed into each other kind of thing. Yeah, and you can build upon your content from yeah. short form to long form and then back again, right? Yeah. Yeah. yeah That's absolutely. It. Yeah. Like where I'm notoriously bad for branching out. Like I don't know how to do it. YouTube just seems like too much work for me. Um, so we're not very good at diversifying. But um, what we find is we like diversifying into different regions. So we're in China at the moment, nice. and we're pretty big in India and UK. So um, we we do reach out to fans in other geos. Yeah. Um, yeah, so it, I think it's really dependent on what you want to do. For okay. us, we want to be international um, yeah. and more in the corporate kind of okay. scene. Um, but yeah, yeah, it, it is very important. Uh, we're just lazy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. yeah, most of my um, fans on Instagram, they're all from Musical.ly because I always used to play promoter on Musical.ly. So then I grew a base on Instagram. Well, that's what I wanted to know. Like, were you, I heard maybe someone mention it. Were you guys on TikTok when it was Musical.ly? And ha have you seen it like change and evolve? What kind oh. of changes have you seen? Let's go. Yeah. You take it. Um, I was on Musical.ly like when it was dead. Literally. Yeah, same. Yeah. Sorry, what was, was that? I when was on oh, Musical.ly when it was dead. Yeah, when, when no one was on it anymore. No one. Like Musical.ly was a 2016 thing. Yeah. It was now 2018 and it was long gone. And I just... <laughs> 
I yeah. guess we just posted then. I basically like grew up on the app, so I saw a lot of changes. When did you start? Um, I, when I was nine. Oh my goodness. Yeah. Wow. So you saw wow. a lot of changes. Yeah. And and what were some of those changes? Do you, can you, do you um, recall off the top you of your head? You know what? Musically, when it transformed to TikTok, so much changes. Like it was different stuff. You had to click different buttons, and it was just so different. Okay. Yeah. I think musically was less comedy and more. Yeah. Like lip syncing yeah. and stuff. Yeah. Was more I remember lip-sync. a lot of lip syncing. That's yeah. a lot. Yeah. I don't and know now it's yeah. pretty diverse. It's got acting videos, singing right. videos. Yeah, it's built out a lot. Yeah. yeah. No one really does comedy anymore on TikTok. It's just mm. even lip syncing, no one does it anymore. Oh, except yeah. the, the man sitting next to me. Yeah. <laughs> you do <laughs> <it> and me. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, but generally speaking. No. Yeah, yeah, generally speaking. Okay, um, I guess how important is it in terms of like connecting with your audience, with your community, but also building new audience, how important is it to stay on top of trends? And by trends, I'm talking about the latest dance challenges, I'm talking about the hot songs, I'm talking about social media slang, like what is it that helps you like, stay in touch? The trend, yeah. So look, we're, we're a little bit different in our approach with trends and hashtags. Um, we do like to um, do them sometimes, but very sparingly. Because um, with with Granny and I, we're, we're we're a bit of a like a unique case on TikTok. So um, I'm on I'm under the belief that if you go with the trend, um, that you'll be you know it'll be the same as a lot of other people. Yeah. So we like to stay away from the trends. So then when everyone's getting trending stuff, yeah. will become something completely different. You're timeless. Yeah, well, <laughs> it's going to be different so that they're going to stay and think, um, oh, this is different. Nice. Maybe maybe we'll subscribe. Nice. And yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it really is good to uh, to jump on trends because you use those hashtags and when people press on those hashtags, your video shows up with a bunch of other videos. Yeah. And you know what? To be honest, if you don't do the trends, you're not really trendy. <laughs> so, <laughs> that's, that's true. true. <laughs> that is true. Yeah. Um, I don't know. I've... I've never been a big fan of trends. I barely ever, ever do them. And when I do, I'm like probably making fun of the trend. I just, I've never been big on trends. Um, but I mean, I guess it's like the, the majority of TikTok, if you go on For You, the majority of it is people doing trends. But it's like, for me, I just like to do stuff that I want to make. And it's like, if I see a trend and I don't do it, I'm just like, I'm not, I'm not doing that. I don't care. And it's like, if, if it's a yeah. trend that I like, I'll do it. But yeah. if it's a trend I don't, like, yeah. it's not, it's out of my comfort zone, yeah. I won't You're do like, it. Nah. <laughs> so I'll cringe at myself. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, and, I, and one of the biggest strategies for, I, I guess, leveraging trends is just to make fun of the trends. Yeah. yeah. Because, yeah. I, like, a lot of people think some of the trends are pretty lame and they want to see someone making fun of it. Yeah. And if it's your favorite TikTok star making fun of it, then yeah. great. Especially like acting videos with the crying. They like dance and do the TikTok dances to like crying. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> it's, if I you're going to do a trend, you do something a little bit different. Just like switch yeah. it up a little bit. And yeah. yours is going to stand yeah. out from the rest of people that are doing the same kind of thing. It's exactly. Like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. You add your own creativity. Your own yeah. Play. You put your exactly. own spin on it kind of thing. Right. Um, I want to go to a couple of... Um, audience questions, but before we do, um, let's just, like, if you guys had some advice to give anybody that's starting out as a creator on TikTok, what, what would that be? What would, what would that be? Mm. Have your own style. Yeah. I, style. yeah. <laughs> if, if you want people to recognize you, you should be very unique yeah. and make content that would relate to you most. Yeah. Just basically be yourself, you know? You don't need to change for others. Yeah, you, you, you need to, you, a unique brand, I think, is the most, thing. it's the thing you need the most. It's like, you see what you're wearing? That's Mia, that's like what Mia wears. And it's just like, yeah, yeah. It's, it's important to just be unique and you'll stand out. Yeah, exactly. My, my advice is like, I, I'm a weirdo, so like, <laughs> just be weird. Like, people love that these days. I mean, it's, it's cool to be different. It's, yeah, like if there's no such thing as being too young, too old, too anything anymore, um, it's, an, it's only an advantage. I mean, we've got lawyers, dentists, um, just normal people, you know, like anybody that you can think of on TikTok, 
and a lot of them are getting famous just by being themselves. So mm. if you're a weirdo, just be a weirdo and people are going to love you. <laughs> it, yeah. All the weirdos out there. <laughs> All right, I've got a question from uh, Maxwell. Max Vass loves you. Um, he wants to know, what are your friends' reactions to your fame on TikTok? Oh. <laughs> um, <laughs> they're like, uh, I don't know, they don't really mind, actually. Mm. My, they're pretty supportive. Know, my friends were a bit weirded out at first. Yeah. They're just like, you're on TikTok? Like, what? It's like, yeah, it, they thought it was a bit weird at first, but it's like now they, they're shocked that it's like I've gotten so big and like they can't, they just think it's really weird because they've just known me as someone that's just normal and just I like, I love you too. <laughs> <laughs> um, I, I, I don't know, it's, they, they think it's really cool. Um, they think it's really weird, but yeah, it's, it's definitely something different for sure. Yeah, my friends are really supportive about it. You know, it doesn't change anything about me. They just, they still treat me the same way. Yeah. Yeah, oh, my friends have all been saying, look, you should have been doing this ages ago. Because, like, mm. my whole life I've been wanting to do something creative. And now it's just come around and they're like, yep, cool. <laughs> but, like, with Granny, when she goes back to China, all of her friends are like, oh, my God, you're famous. And, oh. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's amazing. And, um... All right. <laughs> yes. <laughs> um, hey, guys, did anybody ever doubt you? And what do they have to say about it now? <laughs> um, I'm not friends with them anymore. <laughs> uh, yeah, I just kind of ignored it because I like what I do. So, hmm. yeah. I, don't know. I, never, I didn't have anyone doubting me ever. Like, when people, when people first discovered me, they're like, that's pretty cool. Like, mm -hmm. like real life people, they're just like, I didn't know you did that, but that, like, they just thought it was really cool. Um, yeah, I guess I'm lucky in that sense. Like, <laughs> yeah, no one really doubted me. Yeah, they were just all supportive. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, I doubted myself every day. <laughs> no. I was just Keep like, I'm 31 <laughs> years old, and um, what, what the hell am I doing on this app? And when I put my grandma on it, I was like, oh my god, what, what is this? <laughs> so. Yeah, self-doubt is the biggest, <laughs> biggest thing. Like, you'll doubt yourself every day, but like, <laughs> if, yeah, just keep on doing it. Like, who cares? Yeah. Okay, guys, Liam, Will underscore Liam04, if you're here. We're going to ask you a question. He wants to know your TikTok inspiration. Mm. Like, who, who do we like on yeah, TikTok? Yeah, I reckon that's what that question is, yeah. Oh, heaps. Um, my, my, one of my favorite TikTokers at the moment is a guy called Stixy617. He's like this weird guy from Boston with one eye. Um, oh, he has a fake eye. And his editing is terrible. And his jokes are, like, horrible. But I love him. Like, like you could be so bad at something that it becomes, like, legendary. So I love <laughs> these kind of people. Yeah, because nice. it's really good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, I, I like a lot of people on TikTok, actually. Even if they don't know me, you know, I still like them. If I like what they post and they're, they're nice, you know, I'm going to like them. Um, since I started when Musical.ly was a thing, um, I didn't really have anyone to go off. So I kind of just started my own thing, and it's kind of gone from there. I do see yeah. videos on, like, my For You page, and I'm like, oh, that's funny. But I don't really idolize anyone I mean yeah mm. I th I'm friends with them but I don't fangirl <laughs> you know yeah. um when I first started uh one of the first videos I actually saw was Mia's and <laughs> uh, Mia was the second person I actually ever followed on TikTok and she was a huge inspiration for me because I used to do comedy <laughs> videos in the start um, so it's pretty cool that she's like right here next to me. <laughs> um, there's another person, I got my start out doing like transition stuff. Uh, I don't know if anyone knows Jet or Breakfast Milk. Um, they were a huge inspiration for me um, with their style and everything. And yeah, they were the people I looked up to the most when I first started out. That actually leads to another audience question by Ruby is confused. Um, same. Which you've, <laughs> which, <laughs> same Ruby. which you've kind of answered, Kayla, but like, h how has your TikTok content evolved over your time on the app? That's a good question. 
I mean, you, you were doing comedy videos at the beginning. At the very start, because like, I, st I joined in when it was in October, and it was known as just memes kind of thing. It's mm -hmm. like, a lot of people jumped on at the time, so it's like, there was just like weird, just yeah, memes and making fun of people. It was just like, it was a, it was a mess. <laughs> um, but I started doing that, and then I jumped to transitions, and then it's like, I now I like to make mini stories and stuff. Like, like I said, it's like, listen to the music, find what would be a cool idea and just make a little story out of it. Right. Like, that's how mine's gone so far. Right. <laughs> um, wait, what was the question again? How has your content how has, uh, evolved since you yeah, first yeah. got on the app? Has it, has it um, changed? Has it well, I've always been diverse at the start. I mean, it was comedy um, and singing because, you know, I sing. Um, I have done some acting videos and, like, trends. I guess I haven't really evolved. I've kind of, I mean, one year is, is not that long, so I don't think I have evolved that much, <laughs> but yeah. Um, when I first started music, I used to do a lot of lip syncing, especially to Nicki Minaj songs. Yeah, I used to do a lot of those. And throughout the years, like now on TikTok days, I basically do like dancing videos, I do trends, um, cause like lip syncing isn't really a thing anymore. Well, people still do it, but it's not as big as it was on Musical.ly, so. So with the evolving, um, it started with me, and then I integrated my daughter into it, and then obviously integrated Granny into it. Um, granny is probably the most popular, so I'm just going to stick with Granny in the future, and then we're probably going to branch all of our family members into our own channels, just so you know people know what they to expect from the channels. But um, we're right now um, we're starting to make different series with Granny. So if you've seen okay. Granny reacts to, she reacts to Cardi B and K-pop, avocados. Mumble rap. I love the mumble yeah, rap. Yeah, mumble rap, <laughs> stuff like that. So um, we're really trying to innovate, like, just how to put Granny into, like, funny situations. Um, and, yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's how we evolve. And hopefully she gets a show on Netflix one day. <laughs> <laughs> Iconic. Um, let's take a few more audience questions. Um, what is it? There are a few good ones. Caleb, somebody asked about your eye roll. Is that a thing? No. What? No. So somebody <laughs> wanted you to do your eye roll, no. so maybe that was like a... <laughs> there was a trend, and I refused to do it. I was like, I am never doing that, and they just will not stop asking me to do it. I'll okay, sorry. I'll do it for you once, yo. I'll do it. I, I, hate, it. I hate it so much. I hate it. I hate it. <laughs> Do you guys have a favorite TikTok trend ever, for those of you that do jump on the trends? Mm. Oh, that's from, uh, I got to shout her out, uh, Crystal? Crystal, yeah, if she's still here. Almost time? Oh, no, sorry. We, <laughs> we got a hello. few more minutes. <laughs> we got a couple more minutes. I don't know. Um, I yeah. don't really have a favorite, but I do like a lot of the dance ones because they're really nice. But yeah, I don't really have a favorite. Me neither. I like the one... I did it recently and it got pretty big. The animatronic one. I don't know if anyone oh, saw that. Yeah. I love that I, trend. That I is love that one. I tried yeah. and so cool. I cringed at myself because I tried. <laughs> and I just didn't post it, but yeah. The clown ones are pretty cool. Yeah. The clown ones, yeah. I, I like the ants because it makes no sense. No. <laughs> yeah. So. <laughs> Guys, where to from here? You've, you've built up such big followings. You're all like very successful. Like what, what's in store next for you? I'm actually working on music, which will be released in October. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've I pretty much started comedy to build myself up, and you know, because music is my um, ultimate goal, so I'm working towards that. Um, that's why I haven't been posting as much. Um, but yeah, that's that's where I'm headed. Nice. Um, I'm, uh, I'm about to start up my YouTube channel, so it's pretty cool. Um, Everybody yeah, go follow her. <laughs> <laughs> um, so we're, we're almost going to be hitting 4 million uh, followers uh, in the next few days. So uh, we're planning to bring out some exclusive merch for Granny. So you'll be able to buy <laughs> pins. I'll buy it. Yeah. I'm buying it. <laughs> 
It's going to be cool. It's going to be really beautiful, um, exclusive stuff. Um, it's not going to be shirts and apparel. It's going to be more pins, USBs, and something special. Maybe some, some granny sunglasses. Oh. So, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, I, there's a few things I want to go into. Like, I started doing Twitch streaming because uh, I, I love video games and stuff, and I've got some really cool opportunities coming up soon with that in, like, that whole industry thing, which I'm really excited for. And I've got, uh, I want to get into modeling. I've done a few already because I love clothes and stuff. Like, this is, this is awesome. Like, um, I, I love doing, I love clothes and stuff. So modeling and uh, stepping into, like, the game industry is, like, two really big steps for me, which I'm really Really excited for. It's gonna be fun. <laughs> what? <laughs> I'm very excited. <laughs> it's gonna be fun. Let's just take one or two more audience questions, and then it's and then it's actually a wrap. Um, that was quick. Oh. Is that 45 minutes? Almost. Yeah, a couple more minutes left. Vapor wants to know, guys, does fame get in the way of your everyday life? Oh, yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> My entire life changed. Um, I, for anyone who doesn't know, before I started doing videos and stuff online, I used to be a school teacher. Yeah, a primary school teacher, oh and uh, everyone eventually found out who I was, and <laughs> there was like kids like in the in the windows looking, and there was like kids coming from other schools to try and find me, and it was like this big breach of safety and everything, and they're just like, uh, you need to leave. <laughs> so uh, yeah, wow. yeah, it was crazy, oh my and they're just like, we'll just put you in another school. I'm like, that's not how it works. Like, it's not just the one school. It's like everywhere now. It's like, every time I go in public now, it's like someone recognizes me. So it's like... And the students yeah. would be your fans. Yeah. They were like, can you like, like shout me out? Like, be my video? It's like, no. Like, um, we need to learn. Yeah. So I, it changed everything. Like, I changed careers completely. It's like, it's affected every single aspect of my life. Oh, wow. Which is, it's cool. It's not a bad thing. Like, I'm glad it happened. It's just a huge change. Changed Massive. everything. Wow. Yeah. That's an amazing story. Yeah, I'd say... Whenever I go out to sh the, the shops or something, there's like fans saying like, oh my God, is that girl from TikTok? <laughs> there's those whispering ones or there's those ones that like start like screaming at you yeah. <laughs> or like catcalling you or the like ones the ones that like or the ones, record. Yeah, or the yeah, ones incognito. Like I'm looking for clothes and then there's people like looking for clothes right next to oh. me and like touching me. I'm like, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, um, that's, that's my life. I kind of have to wear a hoodie and sunglasses if yeah. I want to go out. Yeah. Basically, whenever I go to the shops, there'll be at least, like, five people. Like, they'll be like, oh, my God, are you married to that one? So, <laughs> like, I'll be like, oh, my God, they'll be like, hi, are you married to that one? Are you from TikTok? They'll be like, hi, yeah. yeah. And, like, they'll, like, you get a lot of them. Yeah. yeah. You get a lot yeah. of different ones. A lot of, you get the ones that are not shy. They'll come up and be like, hi, can I take a picture? You get the secretly recording one. You get the... I'm just looking for clothes on and they still yeah. looking for clothes. I feel like there's a video in there. There's an idea in there. <laughs> yeah. um, well, I'm pretty lucky that Granny's the star of my channel, so I don't get <laughs> recognized <laughs> ever. <laughs> Sometimes, well, I got recognized once, in, you know, outside a bathroom. That was interesting. Um, but that's it. Um, but I, I, I got to quit my job. I used to be a manager at Harvey Norman. <laughs> oh, wow. And um, okay. yeah, so people came in and said, "Are you off TikTok?" And then they asked me if they could get, do me a deal. So I used to do deals all the time. <laughs> <laughs> but um, that's it. I, I got to quit my job uh, about three weeks ago to do this full time with Granny. Wow, what were you doing? Uh, hmm? What were you doing? Just I was managing a Harvey Norman. Amazing. Yeah, and and then wow. yeah. So now. But now I get to spend time four days a week with my grandma. I think it's really cool. So you're doing it full time now. Yeah, full yeah, time. yeah. I mean, wow, I'm, we're, we're starting to work with true. brands and bring out other stuff now. So it's interesting. Yeah. All right, fantastic. I think we actually have a few more minutes. So let me just see if there's any other audience questions or any little bits of advice. What about people who are like coming to TikTok for the first time from other platforms, who have followings on other platforms coming to I've TikTok? I've seen a lot of YouTubers like troll on yeah. TikTok, yeah. but they actually do end up getting a lot of attention. Yeah. Um, I think it's, I think that, I think the majority of people who come from other apps are just trolling. Yeah. Really? It's crazy, because like TikTok, it's blowing up mainstream now. There's mm. like so many celebrities and people coming from everywhere. Like Howie Mandel is on TikTok nice. now. Like nice. it's insane. Um, but I think most people when they jump on is they do all the trends and stuff. Like, um, but um, yeah, it's crazy to see everyone jumping on. It's weird. It's weird. 
I would never expect Howie Mandel, of all people, <laughs> to be on TikTok. <laughs> yeah, you basically just see a bunch of YouTubers jump on TikTok and just start trolling, yeah. Uh. Start what? Troll. Start they trolling. just troll. They learn to love it. That like, I think it's like yeah. everyone at the start. They, they does always it ironic. they always keep making videos. They always keep making. And I'm like, it. you secretly love TikTok, <laughs> yeah. don't you? That's the thing. It's like everyone takes it as, as a joke at the start, and then you just you do get addicted to it. Are they trolling like like creators, or are they just talking trash about? Oh, they're not. They're not no. being mean. Yeah, they're no. just like joking around, okay. like se making statements that aren't true, but. You obviously know it. You obviously know it's not real, but um, they're just doing just it for, for fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Do you reckon they're trying to get people to click into them and follow them? Isn't that what no, I do? think they just. <laughs> I think they go on the app to see if anyone recognizes them, yeah. uh -huh. and then it just goes on from there. Because it's scary starting fresh. Like if you have like a really big following on one platform and you've got to like humbly go again and yeah. start to build up, it's <laughs> <Okay>. not. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's that's the funny thing about it. Like when you see a big star come onto TikTok and they should get a million followers in a day or something, usually they don't. Yeah. <laughs> they, get, they struggle to get like 5,000 likes. Like you have no power here. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I saw like Cardi B on TikTok. Really? Oh, she had yeah. like only 200,000. <laughs> I was like, wow. Can you well, she cross-promoted yeah. on her other platforms. Do you reckon you have to do that? You have to like sell your new TikTok account on your YouTube to get people to come? Like, is that what people do? Yeah, they, they, they can do that. Yeah. But in the end, it's, it's just about how good your content is. And yeah. if they don't know the... With TikTok, I think everyone knows this, like, you need to respect the community. Yeah, there are ways to do things, and there yeah. are ways to, you know, rules to... Unspoken rules to adhere yeah. to. And if you don't respect it, and you're just trying to come into TikTok and be like, oh, I'm famous, let, let's yeah, yeah. get it. People yeah, are just going to be like, Your community nah. makes you who you are, right? Oh, yeah, yeah. Like, yeah. yeah. I mean, if you're in with the memes, like the international language of the internet, yeah. then you're going to do well on or, TikTok. Or if you're just really attractive. Oh, yeah, yeah, that helps. <laughs> that works too. Yeah. <laughs> no, there's a lovely community there. Like, some of the creators there I'm best friends with now, and they're just, like, some lovely, lovely people. So is that what you love most about the app? I think... The, the community you've the, built through Yeah, it? there's definitely... It feels like a big family kind of thing. It's right. like most of the really big creators all yeah. know each other to some extent. Oh, and yeah? it's like... It's, it's, Even yeah. like the international, or is it? Yeah, yeah like I've got, really I've got heaps of people like over in America and stuff. And, and it's you've like, met them personally? Yeah. Cool. Like I haven't had a chance to go to America, but it's like I've spoken to them like at length on phone calls and video calls and stuff. Yeah, yeah. Um, but it's like, yeah, they're definitely a lot of the big creators are a big family kind of thing. Is that how you guys feel about the community as well? Is that your favorite thing about TikTok? Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah, absolutely. I mean, less death threats and stuff on mm. TikTok. That's always good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, my oh God. My <laughs> no, it's a very inclusive um, community. Uh, yeah, I think a lot of parents and, you know, with the press and stuff uh, are concerned about TikTok and, you know, like how it, it could be kind of dangerous and stuff. Yeah. But I find it one of the most inclusive communities. Nice. I mean, um, they regulate the, the comments a lot, you, yeah. you know. Um, there's moderation, right? Yeah, there's moderation and also... People know not to be mean. And even sometimes when I want to ask you a question, like, how old is Granny? They always preface it with, not to be mean, but <laughs> how old is Granny? You know, they're really polite. So yeah. I think the younger generation actually is going to be more polite and inclusive than previous generations. Yeah, there's also, like, direct message, mess DM, yeah. um, to, <laughs> to, like, connect with other TikTok stars. Um, like if some if some TikTok star followed me, I'd get the notification in my DM. Oh, yeah. You can say hi, and then you kind of make friends from there, and it's all yeah. like a yeah. community within the TikTok creators as well as mm -hmm. the fans. But yeah. Okay, cool. And I th just for a last question, just before we wrap up, like, do you guys have a favorite video of all time of your own? Nope. <laughs> I, just, I just cringe at them now. <laughs> I'm like, why did I make that? I don't know. I have a few. It's like every, every video I post is like, I'm happy with it. And it's like, I am proud that I made that. So it's like, I don't have one, but it's like, I enjoy all of my videos. It's like, if I don't like yeah. it 100%, it's not getting posted. So it's like, I, nice. I, I am very proud of what I, all the videos that I've done on the app. Nice. I think one of my first features on Musical.ly was like um, a Nicki Minaj song and I was just so sassy in it and I just love that video. Nice. Because <laughs> I was so young and I'm like, <laughs> Yeah, it's funny. Um, my, my favorite video of mine is um, uh, 
Granny does Titanic. Um, <laughs> we did it at a wharf somewhere. It was completely lame, but it was really good. And that didn't do so well. My worst, my actually my least favorite video ever was <laughs> when Granny did the, um, the the three music videos. But that's got 10 million likes on it. Oh so, my goodness! Yeah. Um, yeah. So sometimes what you don't like is yeah it has a big chance of going viral. So that's yeah. true. Yeah. <laughs> All right, that's it, guys. Thank you so much, everybody, for turning out Thank today. Thank you for coming. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.